everybody, my name is Elijah Muse, and I want to welcome you all to Gifted Hands Music. Here at Gifted Hands Music, we are dedicated to helping gospel and jazz musicians learn the language of music and love every single step of the process. So today's lesson is going to be on a traditional gospel song titled, I Surrender All. You just heard the playthrough, and this is going to be a two-part lesson, all right? Two parts. First part is the beginner version, so you can get the basic chords, the basic layout of the song. And then part two is going to be an intermediate to advanced approach. We're going to look at how we can add passing chords and how we can kind of fill the song up so there's not a lot of dead space in there, kind of to embellish it. All right. So let's jump right into this lesson. If you haven't already, please like the video, please subscribe to the channel, all that good stuff. Share these videos with your friends, your family, your fellow musicians, anybody who's going to find this useful, useful, <laughs> share it with them. All right. Um, and let's jump into it now. So we are going to be playing I Surrender All in the key of E major. All right. We're in E major. E major has four sharps, which is F sharp, G sharp, C sharp, and D sharp. Okay. So our scale is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one. Remember, F sharp, G sharp, C sharp, D sharp are our accidentals, we'll call them. Okay. So this is the beginner's lesson, and we're just going to show you the basic outline to play I Surrender All. So let me just play through the first part. All right, that is going to be part one, which is kind of the verse, right? All to Jesus I surrender all. That's what's going on at the verse. And so really, we could play the same thing over and over again for the verse. But what I want to do is kind of give you a couple different options, a couple different ways to play it. So you just don't, so it doesn't get tiring playing the same thing over and over again. All right. So the first chord is an E major, our one chord. It's a basic one chord. And remember, um, when you start playing songs and you're trying to take your playing to the next level, I suggest getting in the habit of kind of playing the melody line in your right hand or keeping the melody on top. By When I say on top, the melody is So kind of keeping that as your highest note. All right. And so I just invert my E chord so that that's on top. So here we are. My one chord. Oh, to Jesus. And then... I hit the five now. So I have a B major chord in my right hand over E. All right, so it's one. Well, actually, and I, I hit this too. So one, this is my one chord. Four, which is A major. I'm just inverting it. Four to the one, okay? So one, one, or four, one. And But I'm keeping the E, the one, the root note in my left hand when I go to the four, okay? And then after that, I go to the five, in my right hand, which is a B major chord, B major triad, but I'm still keeping the E in the bass. Oh. To Jesus I surrender. And then I'm gonna go to the three chord, all right? So the three in E major is G sharp. And so what I'm doing here, I'm playing it as a major triad, which is G sharp major, but you can also make it dominant if you want to. Depending on how fancy you want to get, you can just play it as a major triad, or you can play it as a dominant chord, and that just adds more tension to help take us to the next chord, all right? Because the next chord is C sharp, our sixth chord. And I'm just playing a C sharp minor seven, but you can just play C sharp. As long as it's a C sharp minor, whatever C sharp minor chord you want to play. One, four over one, A over E, to the one, five over one, to our three chord, 
which is G sharp seven, and then six, which is C sharp minor. Oh, then we go to the two, which is F sharp minor. Da -da. Two, five, and I'm playing the five as a sus chord. This is kind of the voicing that I like. Really, yeah. But you can play it this way. This is a five chord. The five is B, right? So this is B sus. This is B sus. Or you can just play a dominant chord if you want to. Or you can play major. As long as it's some type of major or sus chord, you can choose. Take your pick. Freely give. Alright, so I play that one more time. One. Four over one. One. Five over one. Three. That's a dominant chord. To the six. To the two. Five. I'm playing a sus five chord. To the one. Alright, that's the first way we can play. And then it does the verse again and again and again. So I'm gonna give you a different way to play the verse. We're still on the one, four, over one, to the one, and this time I'm gonna actually go to the five. The last time I kept the E in the bass over the five. This time I'm just gonna play the five all together. And then I'm playing this, five, go up a half step. So I'm playing C in my left hand. My right hand, I'm playing a G sharp major chord. So G sharp major, and I'm just in inverting it, okay? And this acts as a passing chord to take me to the sixth chord, which is C sharp minor. All right, so one more time, let me play all that. One, I said, four, one, five, up a half step, G sharp over C, C sharp minor, to my sixth chord. And then two, same as the last time. Two, five, one. All right, so those are two different ways that you can play the verse. All right, so the verse goes um, anywhere from two to four times, depending on what version you're listening to. Um, so you can just kind of alternate those sequences, uh, but you have that progression for the verse. Now let's jump into the uh, chorus, we'll call it. All right, so let me play the chorus part now for you. 